Okay. So now we're going to talk about 2, 4, and 8. The visibility rules for 2, 4, and 8. So let's start with 2. What can we say about 2? Is this number 583,624 divisible by 2? Well, yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, why? Well, sort of the same thing you said about 5. Because 20 is already divisible by 2. 600 is already divisible by 2. And up and up. And all I have to check is 4. Okay, what yeah. do you think? Well, I think that... It, you, it has to be, the first digit can be, it can be 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. And the first digit, yeah, that's all that matters. The, the next digit, the past digits can be anything. Well, maybe you should say the units digit. Right, the units digit. So that's what he's saying. The first digit can either be 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. That's, those are all multiples of 2. Yeah. All the other digits after this, this is 2 times 10. Well, 10 is divisible by 2. Yeah. In fact, 10 is 2 times 5. 100 is divisible by 2. This is 6 times 100. So that's already divisible by 2. Yeah. So all the, the digits out here are represent numbers that are already divisible by 2. So we only have to check the last digit. Yeah. So figuring out if something is divisible by 2 is actually pretty easy. What yeah. about 4? Well, 4... You, it looks like you have to check the first two digits. Yeah, because 600 is divisible by 4. Why? But because 100 is divisible by 4. Okay. Do you understand that? 100 is yeah. divisible by 4? That means all the ones behind 600 are, but these two we're not sure. Okay. So this is divisible by 4. 6 times 100 is divisible by 4 because yeah. 100 is divisible by 4. 3 times 1,000 is divisible by 4. So we see all these digits out here represent numbers that are already divisible by 4. So all we have to check is this last two digits here, or the number 24. Yep. Is that divisible by 4? Yes. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, so it turns out this number, 583,624, is divisible by 4. Yeah. Now what about 8? Eight? 8, you have to check the, first, the last 3. Because 3,000 is divisible by 8. Because 1,000 you know? is. What's, how, what's 1,000 divided by 8? It's 125. It's, it's 5 cubed times 2 cubed. Yeah. So same idea. So see, once we get out above 1,000, the thousands digit, 10,000s, 100,000s, all the way up, these are all divisible by 8. Yeah. So we just have to check the last three digits. So is this number divisible by 8? Well, we don't know much about 624. Okay. Well, I know that 640 is. Ah, we know that 640 is divisible by 8. How do you know that? Because 64 is. Okay. And you just multiply by 10. Alright. So, it is it is divisible by 8 because it's 640 minus 16. It's 640 minus 16 is 624. And so this 16 is 8 times 4. Right. Or 8 times 2. 8 times 2. So good. So there's our divisibility rules for 2, 4, and 8. Alright, ready to go on to 3 and 9? Yeah.